What is up YouTube? This is Hot Wheels Racers again and this is the video on our Fast and Furious collection. As you can see we have the Gran Torino from the fourth one, fourth film, the Daytona from the sixth and etc. And we're gonna go through all of them in order. So yeah. Let's get started. So, first off, we have the Supra and the Charger. We're going to start with those two. So, yeah. So, these cars were in the first film. As you can see, this is the first edition of it. When it didn't have the lights like the Supra here. As you can see total difference with the lights and all that. And yeah, so the Hot Wheels made a bunch of 70, 70s chargers with a blower and for Fast and Furious cars, but yet, as you can see, this one's pretty worn out. So yeah, as I was saying, they can't make a 70s charger without the blower and that I kind of got pretty disappointed about because the Fast Five one from the fifth Fast and Furious they made it with a blower even though it wasn't supposed to have one they still made it and that's what really pisses me off about the movies the movie cars and all and then in the first film we also have Johnny Tran's car which was a really good addition to the collection as you can see, the headlights and everything. Really nice car. Designs on the side. The rear end really has nothing. That's what I hated about this car. They did the Honda logo in the front and all that. But no logo in the back. So that's it for the, the first Fast and Furious cars. Now when we let's go with the second ones right now. And these ones are actually really really nice so as you can see you get Paul Walker's skyline that gets hit by like a electro like like an EMP thing I don't know really what it's called but an EMP and it got stuck in the car and it shut all the electronics down and this is the car that got rammed right that lost control and I think it was the transmission that fell off the car or something and he lost control and he banged into this like advertisement. So yeah, really good collection like to add. And then Fast Five, the Charger with the silver around the black wheels which I found really nice. The DRT logos and all that and yeah really nice car but we forgot the one the two cars the fourth one fourth movie so you got the Gran Torino that apparently in the movies killed Lenny but didn't happen because in the eighth she's alive and all that this is Dom Chevelle that he blows up purposely to escape little worn out but yeah now we head to the fifth no the sixth movie which is with the Dodge Daytona Charger 69 so yeah one thing I didn't like about this car well there's a lot of reasons why this car wasn't built so nice because if you ever saw the Superbird the Plymouth 1970 Superbird the suspension like, the body is dropped. This one, what I hated about it is this little, is the suspension, or where they put the wheels, has this, like, thing right here. Right here, and it screws, it, it makes the car look so bad. Like, when you look at it, right at it, you see that. It's so bad. But, it's after all, it's a really nice car. I'm a fa big Fast and Furious fan, so yeah. And so now... The one car that 
I could say that this one's from all the movies because the charger was in all of them. But this is the movie car, like the actual one that you buy for five dollars. I found it was pretty worth it because me, I'm a big fan of the 1970 Chargers and all. And this literally has rubber tires that you could take off. All that nice rims, though, really freaking nice. And it's a pretty heavy car, though. They did the license plate, which is the real one. Everything's legit in it. But yeah, they made it pretty realistic. They even put the the red, like the, what are they called again? For the blower, the red nozzles. And all that, it was pretty cool. I think that's what they call it nozzles. And all that. The flashers on the side. Did a pretty good job. And yeah, that's it for this video. So please like and subscribe and leave a comment.